The HPR cartridge is the latest product upgrade for the HPR family of systems. This video is a short overview of HPR cartridge installation and basic operation. The cartridge is a single-piece consumable that replaces the five standard HPR consumables, the electrode, swirl ring, nozzle, nozzle retaining cap, and shield. This upgrade also includes a new torch body, water tube, and retaining cap. The HPR cartridge is designed to make product installation and usage simple. The torch body fits directly onto an existing HPR XD torch receptacle. In addition, the cartridges install easily into the torch with no tools required and use all the same setup cut chart parameters as the traditional mild steel HPR XD processes for each amperage. There are no special processes to select on your CNC or in your nesting software. Just install and continue your current workflow. The torch starter kit includes all the components needed to start cutting with the HPR cartridge. Note that cartridges are sold separately. The torch kit contains a postcard. Keep this nearby. This postcard contains the directions on how to install the cartridge and a scannable QR code that will take you to this video and a link to the HPR cartridge instruction manual. To begin installation, remove the components from the torch starter kit. It's important to note that the O-rings on the components in this box are all pre-lubricated. This is true only for components that come in the HPR cartridge torch kit. If you order any of these parts separately, they are not lubricated and will need to be before installation. Install the water tube in the same manner as the other standard hypertherm water tubes. Next, select your desired cartridge. Install the cartridge by pushing it onto the torch until it stops. Finally, install the retaining cap onto the torch. Turn the retaining cap until it comes to a stop. The retaining cap moves the cartridge into the correct position on the torch to seal the O-rings. If installed properly, there should be almost no gap between the cap and the torch. That's it! Installation is complete. Now install the torch onto the receptacle. This is done in exactly the same manner as the traditional HPR XD torch. After the torch installation is complete, perform a test cut to ensure everything is operating effectively. When the HPR XD is powered up, an automatic gas purge cycle will start. During this purge, verify that there is no coolant mist coming out from the end of the torch. Typically, this purge cycle is adequate to clear any moisture that may be present. The cartridge contains more cavities than traditional consumables and sometimes requires an extra purge. If a mist is observed, select Test Cut Flow on the CNC and do a gas purge for an additional 15 seconds. While purging, check again for coolant mist. If the mist continues, refer to the operating manual for further troubleshooting steps. If there is no mist observed, then you are ready to cut. Remember that there is nothing different to select regarding cut chart parameters on the CNC or when using nesting software. This concludes our video on HPR cartridge installation. For more information, visit our website at hypertherm.com.